This is the new way you will read emails. This is beautiful. This is the beginning of the new era of intelligence. The world's best AI models here with Google's Gemini 3.0. Today in the next 10 minutes, I'm not going to show you the benchmarks, not going to waste your time. I'm going to show you how your work will be done in the new era of AI, new era of agents using Gemini 3.0. Because not just now as per Google, but all the benchmarks all the sources are stating Gemini is the world's best model, except you will see SWE Bench Verified where 500 open source problems are solved. But skip this, I'm going to show you the real use cases that I have been trying from the last 3-4 days. Thanks Google for giving me early access to Gemini. So first of all, to you know, show you visually how I test models, there is something called as Pelican. This is an image of a Pelican. Basically, Pelican cannot like you know ride bicycles. It has these two feet. And Pelican is an image not generated through pixels, but through code, through HTML. CSS JavaScript. So there is a guy called Simon Wilson. This guy made this test very famous that if any model using code can generate an image like this in the best quality, it's basically a par with the agentic abilities. So what I did was I went to Google Gemini. If you want to get started, go to aistudio.google.com. Right, go right there and then ask it generate an SVG of a Pelican riding a bike. And in this AI studio, because it creates mini apps, it basically creates a web app, it created an app where I put the prompt and it created one of the most beautiful Pelican we have seen. If I show you as comparison, because I have created Pelicans with all the models, whether it is GPT-5, whether, whether it is Composer, all these models I have tried and tested and I'm going to show you one by one. So if we start with Composer, Composer is like is a wrapper or like it's fine-tuned version of some Chinese model and if you see that this Pelican did not perform well the feet and like it's not even sitting on the bike so this is like a good way to visualize and compare next I tried Claude Code beautiful Pelican then I tried this one was GPT-5 it is beautiful but could be better and then this is one from this is one, okay, this is one coming from GPT-5 real because the previous one was GPT-5 codex. This is, the GPT-5 one is pretty good, honestly. Look at the pedals actually interacting. And then there was GPT-5.1 I tried, pretty good as well. And, and this is with Kimi K2, which is pretty popular. Uh, it is pretty good, but not the best you have seen. And now I'm going to show you finally the one that I saw with Gemini. It blew my mind, which is right here. It is showing the feet interacting with the pedals, the peak right here, that shows that agentic abilities and coding abilities are on par with what you see with Claude Codes, you know, Pelican. So that, that visual representation, because this image is basically code, so you can basically right click, because each Pelican can be opened with a text editor and it's basically code, bunch of code visually presented as a Pelican riding a bike. With this test being cleared, let me show you the magic I created. First, let's go to Gemini.com. Let's. I'm going to show you two apps. One is AIStudio.google.com, another is Gemini directly. Started with the number one most highlighted use case, that is the reasoning abilities. If you remember this video, that is one of the most famous video on my channel, which was quoted again, challenging MIT students with IIT J advanced question paper. In this video, I never spoke the IIT J question. So, for example, in this video, if you go. These are the problems that students are solving. These are, these are the answers. This is the problem. So these problems, I never spoke it out, but they are on the paper. What I can do is, if I want to, like, let's say, prepare for my IITJ exam, I want, to, I want to see which paper Harnoor used in this video. I can copy the link, go to gemini.google.com and ask, tell me each question asked in the video from the IITJ paper. Now it analyzes and it gave me every single question asked. It's a paper one. From which year it is, it did not tell me. It is. It did. J advanced 2021. 21. People were coding that, hey, you guys used 2021 paper. It was easy. I should have used the 2019. So even though I never spoke it, it went through each frame in the video, visually understood video reasoning abilities, multi-model reasoning abilities, which is a new concept and it is mind-blowing. It not just has, you know, visual, audio, video and text reasoning abilities, but also spatial, which we will test later. But this is mind-blowing that it can go through any video. Whatever the screenshots you have of text, it'll get it and show every single question asked in that paper. I, I, like this guy, I asked, 
Jimmy. Like Jimmy chose question number 17, and this question was from okay. This this was correct, and then that's why that student won hundred dollars in the IIT versus the MIT challenge. So all those questions are here, and this question, look at it, visually represented and understood from a video. Let me give you an example of an important use case. This is the answer of, you know, four answer, and this is the answer of paper one, question 17. So attempted by Jimmy. What I can do is copy this, which timestamp shows the answer of Jimmy? The, this answer basically, you know, I'm just gonna copy it and see if it is correctly represented by Gemini. So, 17, the answer is 4. It happened at timestamp 456. So I can go back in the video, go back to the timestamp number 456. Here we go. And this is the moment. He literally did 4 and I saw the answer was correct as well. So the idea is you can go to any textual, visual or audio representation mentioned in the video and go back. This wasn't possible before. Other AI models were just using the subtitles, just the transcripts. But now you can use every single part of the video. Not just that. Now I'm, let me show you the spatial as well. Because I, using Gemini, have been experimenting the coding abilities using 3D games. So for example, look at this one prompt. Generate 3D Tetris game. Just one prompt. I'm going to click try again. And I'm going to show you how I'm playing this 3D Tetris game, which is so beautiful. I'm going to hit space and the Tetris lands. And you can see how beautiful this 3D Tetris game is. I can visualize it on my browser right now. This is fantastic. If I show you other UI abilities, I created this live user engagement dashboard with some emails on the bottom, some colors, and like it's basically moving. Every second, it is getting a random number and showing it visually. And you have to guess which is GPT 5.1 and which is Gemini 3.0. I'm going to give you five seconds. And the right answer is the right one is GPT 5.1 and left is Gemini. And I personally like Gemini 1 because it was one short prompt. But I think visually, the darker theme on GPT 5.1 I prefer, but Gemini was faster on their TPUs. They created this model from scratch, especially using their own hardware. And that's why their models are one of the fastest. The speed Gemini is unlocking for something like this is mind blowing. Not just this, I'm going to show you other coding abilities, especially you can try with something called as their own software called anti-gravity. I tested this as well. This is basically Visual Studio clone. And I think they need to do more work because visually it's not as beautiful as cursor right now. I think it's it's still, you know, the first first release they have. Overall, I think it's work in progress. So for example, when I asked it to generate a 3D Tetris game, it literally gave me an image of a 3D Tetris game. And in this tool could be magical, but right now my go-to platform is Cursor with Gemini 3.0 works like a charm and it's beautiful. Now next, Gemini is going to change the way you work because not in the future, but it's my present now. So for example, Gemini can access my emails and now with Gemini, I can actually ask it to get 100 of my Bloomberg emails because Bloomberg sends me newsletter every day or I can ask it one email at a time. So summarize my Mark Gurman's last email and show it visually on an image. And this is so beautiful summary that I can see. So next year, iPhone, you're going to see 18 Pro, 18 Pro Max and Fold and 18 and 18 Air will not come in 2026. They will come in 2027. So they're going to come like six months later because they're splitting the release strategy. And this is presented in a visual way so beautifully. Another info in the newsletter was that Tesla and CarPlay, Apple are finally collaborating. Next info was Mac Pro is dead. It's literally made an image of Made, made an image and crossed it out because Gemini is nano banana is super fast. If I, if I show you the email, it's basically four or five pages. It's super long. It doesn't have that many beautiful images that Gemini has shown by actually understanding this email. This is the new way you will read emails. This is beautiful. Now, last but most important use case that I have actually wipe coded in just one minute. I'm I'm literally not kidding. This app was made by Gemini in a minute. It creates four versions of nano banana images for thumbnail that I make all the time. Gives me different expressions and different text to experiment with. It happened in a minute and this app is free for me to try. If I ship it, if I click on the deploy button, of course I have to pay for API credits, but 
if I'm using it for my own use case, I don't have to pay at all. Because if I'm using, let's say, you know, Lovable or any other vibe coding apps, I'll have to pay for Gemini's credits. But since it's vibe coded here, you can use Nano Banana credits, all the vibe coding apps for your use case right here for free. And this app is fully complete creating four images. I asked it, is it doing parallel process, processing for those four images? And it is, and in few seconds, giving me four thumbnails and choosing one thumbnail for my video and shipping fast. And last I would say is, of course, there will be some models better in design, let's say GPT 5.1, some models better with more coding abilities like Claude, which has a little bit better SW bench code. But, but overall, speed and agentic abilities that Gemini is offering right now is above par with all the models. Especially once again, I'll say speed. It's one of the fastest AI agentic coding model I've ever seen. And the 3D apps that it makes in one to two minutes, it's still mind blowing. What do you all think? Let me know about Gemini 3.0. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching.